Hi everyone, Mehmet is here. Today I will talk about teaching online and in person simultaneously. Let's get started. I was searching for a term to describe in person teaching with remote students and there are terms like hybrid, synchronous, blended, um, concurrent and simultaneous. I'm going to use the word synchronous to describe um, this kind of teaching process. There are of course different ways to demonstrate synchronous teaching, but I'm going to just show you guys one way of doing this. Now let's go to my classroom and I will show you my setup and I will show you guys how you can teach online and in class at the same time. This is what it looks like. You can see on the left hand side what my students see face to face in the physical classroom. I am using a projector to show my computer screen and simultaneously, my online students see the same thing. And you can see it on the right hand side. I am sharing my screen with a meeting software with Zoom. I have a few students in the classroom and tens of them are online. They are connected um, through Zoom. And everyone see the same page, they see the same screen, they see the same board. Now let's talk about my setup. This is my laptop, ASUS um, UX330, and I have a second monitor here, and here's my projector. Um, you don't need a second monitor, by the way. You can just share the same screen and do synchronous teaching. However, having two screens, having second monitors is super convenient because it gives you more space. You can see the chat, students, participant list, some other screens and your lecture page at the same time. It is good. I definitely recommend you to have a second screen on your desk. Let's talk about the technical part. What do you need to do to perform um, synchronous teaching just like that? First of all, you need an HDMI separator, and this is a good one. Um, by the way, you can find all the links in the description below. And um, this HDMI separator needs power, and just plug the adapter. You can see the green light appear there after you do that. And it has one input here. I'm going to connect it to my laptop, and I have a mini HDMI here. So I need an adapter, mini HDMI to HDMI. It's right here. Again, all the links are in the description below. Let's connect it. Now, surprise, surprise, these are both female connectors, so I need male to male HDMI and it's right here. You may not need all these adapters and connectors, by the way, uh, because laptops are different, right? They have different connections, but this is what I need to do in order to work with two screens. Now, power connection is done, HDMI input is done, I need to connect to output. This is one of them, it's for my projector, done. Okay, it is connected. And the other one is here for the screen. The monitor is super old. I found it in a storage here in the school and it doesn't have an HDMI connection, of course. So I need another adapter, VGA to HDMI. Let's connect this. Boom. Look at all these connectors and adapters, guys. No one can stop me from teaching with two screens. Now, I have the same screen for all these three devices and I want my laptop to be my main screen and other two to be the same, my secondary screen. To do that, you can just use your keyboard shortcuts to extend the image or you can go to project settings and do it from there. Now, I extend it. Look at this. Perfect. Follow my mouse now, guys. You see it moves from the second screen to the first one. Awesome, right? And everything I do with my second screen appears on the projector as well. By the way, this is the HDMI splitter. It splits the screen, so you cannot get three different screens by using it, so it mirrors it. Now let me open my handout here on my second screen. Great! I will connect Zoom and start a meeting and share my second screen. Now my online students see my second screen, my handout, and at the same time, my in-class students see the same. Wonderful. Using second screen in the class also allowed me to do other things with my laptop, like using a calculator, taking messages, and sometimes like taking the textbook. You can also see your students here if they turn their webcams on. Okay. Um, I am using my graphics tablet to teach. This is Gaumon S620. Not one of my favorites. I don't really like it, but it is cheap and it does the job. That's why we bought it for the school. And I have a different one at home. I also have a scientific calculator here, a classic one. This is my aloe vera. And this is the package I received today for math olympiads. 
And here's my projector. It is new. I really, really like it and definitely recommend it. Epson is the best for class projectors and this is a V250. I also have the same at home. This is the first thing I changed after I came to this classroom. I was in another classroom but changed it to get a better internet connection. There was an LED projector in the class. Look at this one guys, these projectors are garbage. They do not work in classrooms. I do not recommend LEDs in classrooms. LCDs are much better and Epson V250 is one of the best uh, new high quality LCD projectors with HDMI connection. I removed the old one but waiting for someone to, to fix the new projector here. And I also have all these cables guys trying to, trying to use this USB hub to organize them. One USB for tablet, one for mouse and one for the internet connection. Okay, this is it. I have a super small classroom and only a few students. And a few teachers are in the school right now. Look at this. Nothing. No sound. Nothing outside. And this is what schools look like in 2020, right? So, this is my classroom. Here's my desk. And this is my synchronous teaching setup. Okay, this is it. I hope this video has been helpful for you. And if you have any questions, guys, just comment below and let me know. And I will try to answer your questions as early as possible. I'll be with you in another video about online teaching. Keep watching mathematics. Goodbye.